My name is Arius, I am an IM student, and I want to use my creativity to change the world. My name is Andre Lanier, I am an IM student, and one day I'm be a famous chef. My name's Heaven. My name is Caressa. And we're inspiring my students. I have a passion about kids, so I want to be a pediatric nurse. And I want to go into sports management and show the world that girls can do anything boys can do. So Inspiring Minds is a youth outreach organization that uh, helps adolescent youth, helps them become all they can be. Derek has a proven product, you know, for the last nine years that's already showed success and worn. I mean, I'm watching kids getting tutored and educated and uh, taught life skills such as please and thank you and pulling out chairs and also having fun along the way as well. So I think that's what kind of separates it from other things that I had seen in the past. We take kids all over the world. Um, we've been to Atlanta, New York, uh, LA, Puerto Rico. With that exposure, it allows them to dream. It allows them to see things that they may have never seen before. I believe they need an after school program because during that time, you know, uh, three to six, a lot of kids have a lot of open time. There's a lot of things that, you know, young men and young women can get pulled into. And it gives those who want to use their free time wisely and be a part of something that's bigger than themselves. I think every kid gets something different, you know. They come to the program with different needs. You may have one student that needs help with their math. Uh, you may have one student that has a 4.0, you know, but they just need a friend. And I think that's what they get from our program, you know. We kind of wrap our arms around them and find out what is their true need. We want to make a change because in children's lives, they really just need that mentor and they need somebody to believe in them 100% when maybe they don't believe in themselves. the success that they've experienced in Warren, we're just going to transition over into Youngstown. It still will have the same mission, the same goal, the same focus, and the same heart. We've always had Youngstown in our eyes, you know. Um, Youngstown is right next door. One of the issues that I think that the young people in this area are um, facing is not being able to relate to people who have had success and being able to look up to someone who came from the same neighborhoods, who went to some of the same schools and who understands some of the challenges, you know, of being in this area, I think that definitely makes a difference. I was born and raised in Youngstown on the east side. Uh, my mom actually uh, raised me by herself, so single, single mom, only child. You know, after having some success, you know, in business, uh, one of my main dreams and goals was to come back to Youngstown and make an impact. And this has been for the last few years. I mean, it's just heavy on my heart. Simon actually um, contacted me and said, hey, heard about your program, um, love what you're doing in Warren, I'm from Youngstown. So it went from, you know, how do I financially contribute to, you know, I'm thinking this may be what I'm supposed to do for Youngstown. So I drove the next week out to Warren from Pittsburgh and fell in love with what I saw. Without Simon's help, I don't know where I'd be right now. He helped me to carry myself. I feel that he could help others like he helped me develop myself and my young mind. So Tim, we go way back. I am a former youth of Youngstown. I grew up in Youngstown. I see myself in the kids. We began to grow together, learn from each other, support each other. And he was working with kids and working in juvenile facilities. Uh, Tim, I met him. He was a, or he was like my coach as a freshman. Growing up, really, I really didn't have a like a father figure in my life, and but Tim, he kind of felt that void. It has affected my choices a lot because I'm a teacher's assistant right now, and I work with kids, and I try to teach them the same things that he taught me. A part of the vision with, with Tim and I is we joined up in Florida and our first conversation was vision casting about what we would like to do uh, if we were given the proper situation for our hometown in Youngstown. The guy is leaving the beach in 85 degree weather all year round, you know, to come back to give back to his community, which he loves so much.
What I love about the, the board is they're extremely diverse and they all bring different talents and different skill sets to the table. I'm born and raised in Youngstown. I went to Ursuline High School. Um, I went on to college and majored in dance and minored in piano. Um, I was in a dance company for five years in New York. Lindsay, um, she said she always wanted to leave Youngstown because she wanted to see what was out there. She wanted to study, she wanted to get better, she wanted to learn from the best, but she also wanted to, to get her resources and bring them back home. I have been blessed to be able to introduce dance to the students. It builds self-esteem, um, it has, has the ability to help people communicate. They want to be able to be listened to, you know, looked after and invested in. And I think that that's something that dance is able to do and give them. My passion basically is um, very, very, very easy because when I look at my life, um, I look at growing up with a one-parent household, my dad never remarried. Um, I think a lot of these children need a mentor in their life and that'll keep them out of trouble, but also maybe keeping them on a straight and narrow as well. What I've seen from Justin so far, he's like the person that kind of reinforces the foundation. No ego, no look at me. Um, he just comes in like, what do you want me to do? If it's for Youngstown and it's for kids, I'm in. When they say it takes a village, you know, to raise a child, you know, I think it's, it's everybody's responsibility to pitch in, which is why we're so excited to come back to the city that we love. It's, it's our responsibility. When the children walk through the doors of Inspiring Minds, they're getting an understanding that someone cares about the longevity of their success. In order to make something like this work in Youngstown, the collaboration um, that is definitely needed is going to take the work of lots of people. I think everybody who has maybe some sort of talent or maybe even something that God has given them, I think that they can help us out with word of mouth, um, they can help us out with volunteering, but most importantly just to get the word out that we are here, you know, and that we want to make a difference. Youngstown is a, is a special place with, with awesome people just waiting to make the right moves. You know, I, I think some of the best people I know are from Youngstown, Ohio. I think Youngstown raises, you know, great people. So if we can bring that together, I think there's a lot of power and a lot of things that, that we can do to get this thing, thing rolling. And it makes it all worth it. You know, when I'm able to now watch a young person who didn't even know who they were walk across the stage and can now choose who they want to be.